In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for Monday, August 21st, 2023. And with this problem, we need to determine if this table shows a proportional relationship between the variables G and H. And questions like these are typically seen at the grade school level or in a pre-algebra class, though you might see this in an Algebra 1 class as well. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through this. And to determine if two variables are proportional to each other, we essentially need to know about their ratio. Since if these are proportional, we would say that G is proportional to H, or as an equation, we can say that G is equal to some constant, some proportionality constant K, multiplied by our variable H. And if we want, we can rewrite this as a ratio of these two variables. We can say that G over H is always equal to some constant, which we call K. And again, this is what we call our proportionality constant. So if we look at our variables and find their ratios for each of these three scenarios, and if they are always equal to the same number, then we know we're dealing with proportional variables. But if we get different numbers at each step, then we know they're not proportional. So let's start by looking at nine and three. We can flip this if we want. It doesn't have to be this way. We can also say that H is proportional to G where H is, let's say, equal to K1 multiplied by G, or H over G is K1. So it doesn't matter which way you look at this ratio, as long as it's equal to the same number every time, and we're consistent with which one we put in the numerator and denominator, then we know if they're proportional or not. And the reason I write it like this is so that we can get whole numbers. Since we want to take nine and divide it by three, we could do it the other way, we just end up with a fraction. And nine divided by three, we know that's equal to three. And now we take our next step, we can do 36 and divide it by six, but this is equal to six. And since it's not equal to three, we can conclude right away that these are not proportional to each other. And to further check, we could look at the last one. We can take 81 and divide it by nine, and notice that this is equal to nine. So we got different numbers at each step, and the only way for these to be proportional is for the ratios to equal the same number at each step. So they would all have to equal that same number. And again, since they didn't, we know for sure that G and H are not proportional to each other. 